a very good morning to all and welcome to the next class so do you all remember what we have learnt in the last class we learnt about malnutrition and we learnt about disease so do you all remember what is a disease it is a condition when certain function of our body gets disturbed so that condition is called disease so now let's see the types of diseases the two types of diseases are communicable and non communicable diseases so which are they communicable or we call it as infectious diseases and then non communicable diseases so first let's see what are communicable diseases so what are communicable diseases diseases that can be spread from a sick person to another person that is called communicable diseases for example when you went to school in the morning and you found one of your friend is very sick and he is coughing and sneezing frequently and in the evening when you reached back home even you found that even you were coughing and sneezing so that means a disease that can be spread from a sick person to a healthy person so such diseases we call it as communicable diseases so what are communicable diseases diseases that can be spread from a sick person to an healthy person that is called communicable diseases for example typhoid malaria cholera all these are examples for communicable diseases and what causes communicable diseases they are caused by microorganisms so what are microorganisms they are tiny living things so bacteria fungi virus all these are different microorganisms and diseases are caused by microorganisms so and what do we call for disease causing microorganisms they are called as germs or pathogens so now let's discuss about the different communicable diseases or the infectious diseases and let's see how are they caused so the first one that is cholera so cholera is a disease that is caused by bacteria and do you know how this disease is spread so this disease is spread by contaminated food and water so this disease is spread by the consumption of contaminated food and water so do you know what are the symptoms of this disease what are the symptoms of cholera it is frequent vomiting then watery diarrhea so these are the symptoms then what about the preventive steps how can we prevent it we should avoid food and water from unclean sources that is we must always use safe water we must use clean water for cooking or washing or for taking bath we need to use clean water and even we need to use safe food so we must avoid having food and water from unclean sources the second one is typhoid so it is a disease that is caused by bacteria so it is also a disease that is caused by bacteria and it is typhoid and do you know how it is spread it is spread by contaminated food and water so by the consumption of contaminated food and water so what happens when we consume this food and water what happens when we consume contaminated food and water all these germs will get into our body through the mouth so all these germs get into our body through our mouth that causes diseases so that is typhoid and do you know what are the symptoms of this disease it is high fever a person who is affected by this disease will have high fever then body pain stomach pain etc then what are the prevention steps that we can take how can we prevent it we have to avoid using water and food from unclean sources and we should wash our hands with soap and water so we should avoid taking 
food and water from unclean sources. That is how we can get cure from this disease. Then the next one is malaria. This disease is caused by protozoa. So this disease that is malaria is caused by protozoa. And do you know how it is spread? It is spread by mosquito bite. So how it is spread? This disease is spread by mosquito bite. That is a person gets infected when a person is bitten by the infective female Anopheles mosquito. So this disease is spread by mosquito bite. Then what are the symptoms of this disease? What are the symptoms? A person feels very sick and will have high fever, then body ache. So these are the symptoms of this disease. And what are the preventive steps? How can we prevent this disease? We should not let the water to collect in our surroundings for the mosquitoes to breed. So that is very, very important. You should not let water to collect in your surroundings. That makes the mosquitoes to breed. So that is the disease called malaria. So the next one is tuberculosis. And this disease is caused by bacteria. And do you know how this disease is spread? This disease is spread by contaminated air. That means when a person who is infected by TB, when he coughs, the germs enters into the air and it contaminates the air. When the other person breathes it, the person gets infected by breathing the contaminated air. So this disease is spread by contaminated air. And what are the symptoms of this disease? They are weight loss, then mild fever, dry cough. So these are the symptoms. And how can we prevent it? One most important thing is you have to cover your mouth when you cough or sneeze and avoid contact with the infected person. So these are the prevention steps that you can take in order to avoid this disease that is tuberculosis and it is caused by bacteria. Then the next one is ringworm. So this is a disease that is caused by the microorganism called fungi. So it is caused by which microorganism? That is fungi. And what is the name of the disease? Ringworm. And it is caused by fungi. And do you know how it is spread? It is spread by the contact with infected person. So how it is spread? It is spread by the contact with infected person. So that is by touching the infected areas of other person or by touching the clothing or objects that have been in touch with, that have been in contact with the infected person. So this disease is caused with the contact with infected person. And do you know what are the symptoms of this disease? That is here in the picture you can see the round itchy rashes in the skin. That is the symptom for this disease. And how can we prevent it? What about the prevention step? How can we prevent it? The first main important thing is you need to maintain a personal hygiene. So you should make your skin clean and dry. Then you should avoid contact with the infected person. So that is about the disease ringworm which is caused by fungi. So what did we learn in this class? We learned about communicable diseases. So what are communicable diseases? Diseases that can be spread from a sick person to an healthy person. And what causes communicable diseases? They are caused by microorganisms. And then we learnt about certain infectious or communicable diseases. So which is the first one that we learnt? We learnt about cholera which is caused by bacteria. Then we learnt about typhoid which is also caused by bacteria. Then we learnt about malaria that is caused by protozoa. Then we learnt about tuberculosis which is caused by bacteria and which is the last one that we learnt. We learnt about ringworm which is caused by fungi. So these are some of the communicable or infectious 
diseases. So again, what are communicable diseases? Diseases that can be spread from a sick person to a healthy person and they are caused by microorganisms. I hope the class is clear to you. We'll meet in the next class and discuss the next topic. Till then, thank you.